The two central tenets of club-focused instruction are swinging the club and swinging the club in the direction of the target. Few golfers are aware of the difference between creating a hitting action with the club versus creating a swinging action with the club. With the purpose of this video being to address swinging the club in the direction of the target, let's briefly address swinging the club. You'll notice we don't refer to swinging the club head, we refer to the whole club. In a half swing, we can imagine standing in the center of a clock face, with six o'clock being the address position in front of us, seven, eight, nine to our right, four, five, and three to our left. When the club is swinging, both ends of the club arrive at each of the hours at the same time. In the full swing, the club moves in this fashion. A simple way to confirm that the club is swinging is by inserting a T in the butt end of the grip. At address, note that the T is a given distance from your forearm. If you sustain that relationship between the T and the forearm during the motion, you're swinging the club. Let's get to the purpose of this instruction. What is swinging to the target? Why swing to the target? Let's answer the second question first. Why swing to the target? You can experience the end of this with a simple experiment. Make a sidearm underhand toss to a target and hold the finish. What you'll find is that your forearm swings along the target line between you and your target. Momentarily, it points at the target. If you swing your arm slightly left to the target, the ball travels to the left. If you swing your arm slightly to the right, the ball travels to the right. The ball can only travel in the direction of the energy we're imparting. The same is true for your golf ball. We can consider the club an extension of our arm. When we swing the club, it must travel along the target line and will momentarily point at the target. If we again imagine that we're standing in the center of the clock face, the club will point to the target when it arrives at four o'clock. To be effective, it's important to conceive that all of our targets are on the ground, whether it's a point in the fairway, a place on the green, or the hole itself. So let's take a look at swinging the club in the direction of the target. We can be assured that we're swinging the whole club by monitoring the tee in the butt end of the grip. It should maintain its address orientation to the lead forearm. Beginning with the backswing, for the duration of the forward swing, we should be aware of the target and delivering the club to point at the target that arrives at four o'clock. At four o'clock, the club should have the same relationship to you as it did at address. I'm Ed LeBeau with Heartland Golf Schools.